Hey one Kaiser, welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. In the thick of things, we're actually in the home stretch of this limited time side quest line. We've gotten two this month, which is pretty unbelievable. I was expecting probably a new chapter, and then lo and behold, I opened it up uh, on Thursday, which is normally when you don't have time side quests, and it was a side quest. A scandal in Hogsmeade, so basically, a demiguise is stealing the candy and stealing sweets from different businesses in Hogsmeade and of course they can't really do anything unfortunately because they need it. They need that stuff for their business. We found it is a demi guys and now we have to trap it. So what are we doing? Because I was not paying attention. KC, finally! I couldn't reach my parents and we've been dying to hear what you've learned. I hope you found the thief. Not yet, but I think I know who. Or should I say what a thief is. The sugar shoplifter is a demiguise. Oh! Wait, the thief we're searching for is a demiguise? That seems to be the case. It has white hair, just like the hair we found at the crime scenes. And demiguises can't turn invisible. <laughs> what a brilliant deduction, Casey. That certainly matches the description of our suspects. It is odd that one would turn out here. Demiguises are indigenous to Asia. Still, I should have figured this out earlier and saved us a lot of trouble. And ruin all the fun we've been having? You're right, spending time with my favorite cousin and his friend hasn't been trouble at all. The thing is, when I was little, the demon guys was my favorite magical creature. Oh, I don't like how they wrote this in at all. She should have known this then. I was a really shy kid back then, and I wish I had the power to be invisible all the time too. Well, you certainly come out of your shell. But, why would you want to be invisible all the time? I didn't think anyone would ever like me for who I was, so I thought it would be better if no one could see me at all. Does that make sense? Have you ever felt that way before? I have felt that way before, actually I haven't felt that way. I think we probably all had that moment, or days, when you just wish you were invisible. Be away from everybody. I have felt that way. When I first came to Hogwarts, I thought people would judge me because of what happened to my brother. I wanted to be invisible sometimes, but I'm happy I wasn't. I've made great friends who accepted me. It's nice to hear that even the great Cursebreaker has felt that way too. Oh. I wish I had known, Jules. I would have done something to help. But you did, Andre. Seeing a comfortable you are in your own skin really inspired me. Thanks to you, I found the confidence to embrace my inner fabulous self. Wow, you really made an impression on your cousin, Andre. Aha! What can I say? I'm an impressive person. I should have known this would get to your head. It's great that you found the confidence to be who you are, Jules. I think your confidence in demiguise knowledge will help us now. You're right. I'd love to help catch his demiguise. But they are tricky to catch since they can predict the future. Aww. Tricky? That sounds impossible. Don't worry, Penny. I have a plan to catch his demiguise that I won't see coming. First, we'll need to brew a sleeping draught, which is where the best potion student in Hogwarts comes in. But wait, isn't this a thing that takes a long time to brew? Maybe that's not the potion. There is a potion they say that it takes a long time to brew. Can't remember what it is though. Brilliant! Now we need to coat some candy with a sleeping draught. And leave a trail for the demiguise to follow to the herbology classroom. We'll place a decoy trap in there, which the demiguise will assume is the threat. I get it now. The demiguise won't expect the candy itself to be threat, because it'll be distracted by the decoy. Mm -hmm. And the sleeping dry will take effect before it realizes anything is wrong. Mm -hmm. Once it's asleep, it will suddenly be visible. That's right. The demiguise will be easy to capture once we can see it and it's asleep. And then we'll finally end this crime spree of the sugar shoplifter. Now. Let's get this candy coated so we can put our plan into action tonight. And once the demiguise is captured, we can finally hit Butterbeer. Wow, look at all the candy. Or, it looks like fireworks. Let's go over the plan again and check things off the list before the demiguise arrives. Candy has been coated in Sleeping Drop? Check. 
Decoy traps fill with candy to trick demi guys in his place. Huh. Double check. A trail of candy that appears to be bait, but is actually the real trap is set out. That's a slippery sweet check. Brilliant. The demi guys won't be able to predict this trap. Hmm. I did some research on the demi guys after we met, and they're classified as XXXX creatures. Uh. I hope when the demi guys gets here, it won't hurt us before the slipping draught takes effect. Don't worry, Penny. Demi guides are harmless herbivores. You sure know a lot about Demi Geysers, Jules. Can you tell us more about them? My three favorite things are fashion, magical creatures, and the sound of my own voice. Huh. Well, I can get on board with two of those three things. So, I'd love to tell you everything I know about Demi Geysers. What? But what about the actual plan and the trapping? This is really going to take eight hours. All right. Here we go. I think we're going to finally see this creature. So just because a magical creature is classified as XXXX, that doesn't mean it's dangerous? It can mean that they're dangerous, but that's not always the case. An XXXX classification can also mean they're hard to catch. Hmm, catching this demi guy definitely isn't going to be easy. Uh, that's an understatement. It's a relief to hear that we're not in danger, but I'm still curious as to how the demiguys traveled here from Asia. KC, you're the one who figured out that our thief was a demiguys. Any idea how it got here? It followed Jules. It's been here for a while. It doesn't matter. Well, common sense is that Jules is from Japan. Maybe it was in her... suitcase? I think it followed Jules from Japan. Sweets started going missing when she arrived. That does make a lot of sense. Who wouldn't want to follow someone as fabulous as me? <laughs> okay. Once we catch the demi guys, I can take it back to Japan with me. My parents will find a safe home for it. It's handy to have Maggie's zoologist parents in a situation like this. Exactly. I just never imagined I'd be in a situation like this. Mm-hmm. Hold on, do you hear that? Sha sha. That sounds like snoring. It's coming from the Trail of Sweets. Oh, he's dead. For a second, I thought that stick poking out was actually like through his body. It's the Demi guys. Shna, shna. <laughs> Aw, it looks so cute when it's sleeping like that. Uh. After eating all that candy, I bet this Demi guys is having. Sweet dreams. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Andre, but I hope you're not planning to pursue a career in stand-up. You make a much better style witcher than a joke wizard. <laughs> I thought it was an admirable attempt at a joke. Huh. Trust me, after this adventure, I realized that the calling of a style wizard suits me best. I'll leave everything else to KC, particularly if it involves any detective work. Speaking of, I think my partner, Detective Jules Egu, would agree this mystery has been solved. That's right, Detective Casey. And as Kip Persimmons said to Copper Conebush, I'm proud to be your partner. I didn't know you read the detective files of Conebush and Persimmons. It's my favorite Wizarding book series. Ahem. And I'm also proud to be your cousin, Andre. Huh. Thank you. All I ask is a little recognition. Andre, without you and Penny, we would have never caught our culprit. <laughs> I'm happy I could help, and I'm even happier our culprit is so cute. Thanks to everyone's hard work, the case of the sugar shoplifter is officially closed. Hooray! We're done. No, we're not. We have to say goodbye. Blimey, Jules, you're leaving already? It feels like we just picked you up from the station. Yes, it's time for me to get home, and it is time to bring the Demi guys home too. Hello. You'll need to keep Hogsmeade fabulous without me. 
I'm sure you can count on Andre for that. Aha! Of course you can count on me. I'm fabulous without even trying. It's a shame you didn't get to see Hogsmeade because of our investigation jewels. But Jules did see Hogsmeade, Andre. Casey is right. Our investigation took us to all the best places in Hogsmeade. Ah. We were so busy chasing the thief, I don't know how you could have got a proper look at anything. Let's recount our trip then, and you'll see that Jules really saw all the best sights. Do you see now, Andre? I not only saw the three broomsticks and donkos, I got to help Madame with murder and build and bilms. How many people can say they did that on the first trip to Hogsmeade? I suppose. And she got to sneak around Hogwarts at night. Now I get to tell people I had an adventure with my favorite cousin and the curse breaker. Huh? Hmm, when you put it like that, your trip does sound proper fun. I had so much fun, I can't decide what was my favorite part, seeing Hogsmeade or making new friends. Or finally catching that creature that had me running around in my best shoes. Exactly, it is too hard to pick just one, do you have a favorite part of the trip KC? Hogsmeade, making new friends, catching the demiguys. Honestly, probably the third one, because it's a new animal, at least I don't remember it, and it was pretty interesting. But 46 is higher, and friends are better. Without a doubt, my favorite part of the trip was making new friends in neutrals. Making friends with the Curse Breaker was my favorite part too. Of course, it's tied with the hands down best part of my trip. Showing off your sick outfit? No, I do that every day. It's tied with spending time with my favorite cousin. Huh. Spending time with my favorite cousin was the best part of the trip for me, too. Thanks for letting me be an honorary Egu Dune Jewels trip, Andre. Huh? Casey, from here on out, you'll always be an honorary Egu. We even made you a small keepsake. Madame Rosmerda got a new ship in a butterscotch inn. And she gave us some as a thank you for catching the sugar shoplifter. We had to craft it into a special gift to remind you of me and our adventure in Hogsmeade. A butterscotch statue shaped like a demiguise. How brilliant. I just hope this isn't turned invisible. <laughs> you see, Andre, that's a joke. Only if you eat it. Although, we enchanted it not to melt, so I wouldn't recommend that. It's a lovely gift, and I'll treasure it forever. Since my damage murder got some new butterscotch in, was she able to make you some butterbeer? Yes, and it is truly the best butter beer in the wizarding world. She even prepared a pint for Jules to enjoy on her way home. I suppose this is the end of our Egwu family reunion at a lovely time. The way you both accepted me as part of your group proved to me that it is okay to be myself. We like you just the way you are, and no one should have to feel invisible. Unless, of course, you're a demiguys and prefer it that way. Come back again soon, Jules. There's always another adventure waiting for us in Hogsmeade. What a lovely questline. Jules really did fit in. It almost seemed like she'd been our friend for years. And we were just kind of catching up. So that is now finally complete. Let me just tick this off. And the achievements. Where is it? Year three, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And as you saw, I am still missing this one in year six. Welcome to the Sphinx Club. Not sure if I mentioned this, I probably did. But it was when there was the main chapters and I fell behind in the attributes. So it's really, really grinding away and I skipped it. But now the problem is it won't let me actually get it again. I guess because I'm past a certain point in the game. If you go to, where is it? Here. 
Yeah, here we go. If you go to Avengers, it says there's nothing there. Technically, there should be that one here. But from what I understand, you're going to be able to actually do it. And that's where the pages come in. So I'll get that done eventually, I guess. But either way, before we wrap this up, let me just go to the actual thing. I think it's in the dormitory. What is the drop? There it is! There's only a couple books remaining on the bottom there, but then that's it. I don't know what they're going to do for more stuff. Actually, there's books at the top as well, by the Gnome Santa. So those will probably be going eventually as well. What happens if I tap it? I got a page! I don't care about the page! I want more energy! But still, it looks nice on my bookshelf. So that is it for this limited time quest line. We got two this month, which I've mentioned before in the previous videos. Can we go back to the chapters now? I want more chapters. Please and thank you. And Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery. So thank you very so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.